Hey guys, welcome back to Bible Q&A. Today we're discussing, why should the Holy Spirit lead us? Those of you who've been following our channel for a while will probably already know what the Holy Spirit is. But just in case, let's quickly go over what it is. The Holy Spirit is quite simply the Spirit of God, which God sends to those who He wants to bring to His fold. When we receive it, it changes our way of thinking or reasoning. If we formerly had a carnal mind and were only focused on achieving success in this world, then the Holy Spirit will change that so that we will have a spiritual mind instead and focus on pleasing God and obtaining salvation. As St. Paul put it, For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the Spirit the things of the Spirit. Romans chapter 8 verse 5 There are many benefits of letting the Holy Spirit lead us. We'll now take the time to list and explain a few of them. 1. If we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us, we will know what to do at every point in our lives, whether it's a temptation we're passing through or a difficult but important decision we have to make. The Holy Spirit will make the process easier for us by revealing the mind of God on the matter through Bible study and meditation so that we can know what God will like us to do at any given time. For example, if we want to marry, the Holy Spirit can teach us what to look for in a spouse. Or if we're getting a job, the Holy Spirit will guide our choices so that the job we choose will feed us, but also give us the time to serve God. To give an example from the scriptures, the apostles were never confused as to where next to preach. The Holy Spirit gave them directions as seen in Acts chapter 8 verse 29, chapter 10 verse 19 to 20, chapter 16 verses 7 to 8, and so they always knew where to take the message so that people will be blessed. Number two, if the Holy Spirit leads us, we can be certain that God Almighty likes and approves of what we're doing. For one simple reason, it is God himself that is telling us to do it. The apostles are, once again, a good example of this, as they did not need any third party to approve of their gospel. They were taught by God Almighty through Jesus Christ via the Holy Spirit, according to Galatians chapter 1 verse 12, Matthew chapter 11 verse 27, chapter 28 verse 19, and 1 John chapter 2 verse 27. And so when the chief rulers of Judea were telling them to stop preaching Christ's gospel, they were confident that God was on their side, as we can see in Acts chapter 4 verse 18 to 20, and chapter 5 verses 27 to 29. On the other hand, when we act against the Holy Spirit by making decisions without God in mind, as King Saul did in 1 Samuel chapter 13 verses 1 to 12, chapter 15 verses 1 to 9, and chapter 22 verses 11 to 18, then God Almighty will not be on our side. He will be against us instead, and as it is stated in the book of Hebrews, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 31. Number 3. If the Holy Spirit leads us, our relationship with God will be smooth and sweet, because it will align our thoughts and actions with the will of God, so that they will be in complete agreement. This minimizes sin and allows us to walk with God. As Amos the prophet said, Can two walk together except they be agreed? Amos chapter 3 verse 3 The great King David, for example, was always on the same page with God because he sought the direction of God when decisions had to be made, like in 1 Samuel chapter 23 verses 1 to 5, 9 to 14, and chapter 30 verses 6 to 9. He wasn't looking to do what was in his mind or what he thought was right. Rather, he let God Almighty decide for him. So the Holy Spirit will also help us to build that kind of relationship with God if we submit ourselves to its guidance. Number 4. If the Holy Spirit leads us, God can trust us with his work because he knows we will not disappoint him. For example, if God wants to bring new people into the world who will be loyal to him as adults, he can bless you with them as kids for you to raise, because he trusts that you will be able to raise them properly and not be careless. God trusted Abraham in this way, as we can tell by what God said in Genesis chapter 18 verses 17 to 19. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Seeing that Abraham shall surely become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him, for I know him, that he will command his children, and his household after him, and they shall keep the way of the Lord to do justice and judgment, that the Lord may bring upon Abraham 
that which he hath spoken of him. There are many more benefits we will enjoy if we allow the Holy Spirit to lead us. These few we've looked at show us that there is nothing better than allowing God to direct us through his Spirit, like a shepherd would his sheep. As the psalmist said, Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy Spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Psalm chapter 143 verse 10 Therefore, if we don't have the Holy Spirit, the best thing to do is to ask God for it, because it's one of those things that God will never refuse to give us. As Christ said, If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? Luke chapter 11 verse 13 And that's the end of this episode for Bible Q&A. Make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification bell so you can view these Bible Q&As whenever you like. Thank you for listening, and have a good day.